We do want to warn you the details of this crime are disturbing. King 5's Christine Pay is in Shoreline with what the suspect confessed to police. This apartment complex behind me in Shoreline is where that murder happened Saturday night. The people we talked to who live in that building say they never imagined anything like this could happen. So many of them left in shock. I don't know if anybody heard anything, which is devastating and spooky. Shoreline police responding to this apartment early Sunday morning after getting a chilling call from the murder suspect himself. We got a 911 call from a male who said he had killed somebody at his apartment. They arrived to find 41-year-old Tyrone Wells Jr. waiting for police. Um, when they got there, they immediately noticed he had blood on him. The victim, 32-year-old Randy Rios, was a mother of an infant daughter and a 9-year-old son, according to a family GoFundMe page. Rios was dating Wells and knew him since 2017, according to charging documents. The details of the murder, gruesome. Court records say Wells bludgeoned Rios with a hatchet, a set of drums, and a bolt cutter before she died. His confession to police stating that when he invited Rios to his apartment, he had the premeditation to kill her. We're all in shock. I mean, the whole building is just like, what, what the hell happened? Bill Hoffman says Wells was his friend and is shocked by what happened, telling King Five he believes his friend had a mental illness. Uh, he's been diagnosed with schizophrenia and bipolar, he's told me. He also recalls that Wells was acting strange before the murder. He was acting very erratic, and I know he didn't sleep for 10 days before this. Wells is now charged with first-degree murder. Police say his confession was calm and forthcoming. Speaking generally, when you have people who, who confess, that, that is beneficial to the investigation. But we're going to handle this case the same way we would other ones and, and treat it very carefully. And the victim's family friends have that GoFundMe page to help pay for funeral costs as a community tries to grasp what happened. Really feel for the family on this. Wells is currently being held at the King County Jail on $5 million bail. In Shoreline, I'm Christine Pay, King 5 News.